Hi, Marthel Neville. Closing arguments in George Zimmerman's second-degree murder trial. Prosecutor Bernie De La Ronda summed up the state's case. Throughout the United States, in many cities, unfortunately, where crimes occur in a neighborhood and people get together and form neighborhood watches or other associations to deal with it. There's nothing sinister or wrong with that. But in this particular case, it led to the death of an innocent 17-year-old boy. Because this defendant made the wrong assumption. He profiled him as a criminal. He also pointed to Zimmerman's account of the fight. One thing I will submit that these photographs show is the absence of blood on that sidewalk. The other big thing is if the defendant was really having his head bashed in as the he claims to the police and he has some injuries to the back of his head and we'll talk about that but I think there were what centimeters or less why isn't his jacket all torn up or at least scratched up if he was being picked up over and over why is his jacket all right the back of his jacket you think about that or is he exaggerating what happened De La Rianda showed Zimmerman's firearm to the jury. One of the things that he does, he demonstrates to the police where he had the gun. And it wasn't right here in the front. It was towards the back and it was hidden. And he'll demonstrate to the police out there where it was. Look at the gun. Look at the size of this gun. How did the victim see that in the darkness? Prosecutor between Martin and Zimmerman. But you see what he is saying now? He's saying that armpits armpits how does he get the gun out? The defense will make their case in closing arguments Friday morning. The jury is expected to get the case in the afternoon. 29-year-old George Zimmerman, a former Neighborhood Watch volunteer, is on trial for fatally shooting Trayvon Martin, an unarmed 17-year-old, last year. Zimmerman is pleading not guilty to second-degree murder, claiming he acted in self-defense. For gavel-to-gavel coverage of the trial, go to foxnews.com slash Zimmerman. In New York, I'm Arthel Neville, Fox News.